Oh, all right. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Anyway, hey, how you doing? I am currently sick. I am very sick. Oh my god, you hear it? Oh, that shit sound nasty. Anyway, leave me alone. Don't don't make fun of me. Okay. Uh yeah, I've been sick for the past couple days. It ain't getting better either. Yeah, I got that shit, man. I got that Ebola. Okay, not nah, really. I'm sorry if that I don't know what I got, but this shit is annoying as shit. But anyway, I'm sick and uh I'm also I also just graduated uh college. So uh yeah, I've been pretty busy. So anyway, we back to it, y'all. Hopefully. I don't I'm not really sure I'm gonna be real with y'all but anyway uh you know I said why not come back and you know react to the scary cop you know I'm gonna do like a little scary marathon post possibly like three or four of them uh scary videos and then we got some Udi videos about it. yeah yeah I know I know chill out yeah, sit down sit down it ain't that cool okay calm down uh today we reacted to scary cop version 28 yeah yeah you know don't mind me <laughs> I'm, I got the sniffles. All right. Uh, you know, it's a good thing we got so many scary comps to uh, react to. Yeah, I was thinking that the other day. I said they got a shitload of scary comps. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me put my headphones on and let me shut up and let's watch. Yeah. Sammy D is home alone when she captures something creepy on camera. Mm -hmm. But this isn't the first time Sammy has caught something unusual. While being at work, Sammy goes inside a room and captures this. Okay, we getting straight to it. Okay. Volume up. I hear something moaning. Hey, get your ass out of there. You not gonna run? What? If you listen closely, you can hear what sounds like someone crying. Yep. It's faint, but it's there. But then a few days later, Sammy once again encounters something pretty creepy. Uh-huh. So you didn't come. See, why Why when this happened, y'all don't go get nobody else for more evidence? You know, me, if I walk into a room and I hear something, I'm like, let me make sure I'm not fucking tripping, okay? Let me walk outside, go talk to the nearest person by me and say, hey, can, come here. I don't care if they didn't work here. I'm going to go to them. I'm going to say, hey, can you come here, please? I'm going to say, yeah, go step in that room by yourself. Let me know what you hear, okay? Come back in 12 minutes. If they come back and they still alive, we might be cool. But if they don't come back, <laughs> I'm quitting on the spot. Just letting you know. You telling me the next time she interacts with this room or door, she hears banging this loud? Okay, okay, okay. Let me see how crazy she is, okay? But then a few days later, Sammy once again encounters something pretty creepy. Naturally, Sammy was spooked. Yeah, that's but crazy. But the most unsettling incident has to be the one that recently happened inside her home. Oh, you cursed. Oh, my God. What the? F oh, yeah. You brought that shit home with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You really fucked up. Okay. Hold on. This is like the first time this ever happened on Scary Comp. I'm invested to see how she get thrown around. Yeah. Oh, po dog. I feel. Oh, that's a dog or a cat. That motherfucker look like a gremlin. Anyway. Sammy is by herself when the following happens. Oh, yeah. You brought that shit home with you. Oh, my God. It say help. It say s Bro, see, bro, this is what I'm saying. This is some bullshit. What the hell I supposed to do? It say help. What the fuck I supposed to do? Make you, you know, when they say help, you know, just hypothetically, if a spirit tell you to help, what what that mean? You, they want you to help with their case, you know, what happened to them or some shit like that. I can't go. I don't know where you from, my nigga. Like, what you talking? Man, this shit will piss me off. I ain't gonna lie. Whoever this little girl is, I like a little girl. You better stay your ass away from me. I'll punch your ass in the throat because you gonna piss me off. I can't really do that because you a spirit and it's some bullshit. But anyway. Just like the video before, something is banging on the door yep. until it stops when Sammy opens it. Sure is. And like before, nothing is there. But the strangest part about this video isn't this. Upon opening the pantry door, if you listen closely, you can hear what sounds like someone whispering for help. Yeah. 
viewers can't help but think that Sammy had brought something home from work. You sure did. Which is now making itself known. Mm -hmm. But of course, this is just a theory. As always, what do you think? I would say this, Sammy, or whatever the hell your name was. I'm sorry, but you pissed me off. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, I think you walk towards the door. You open this door. And when you going out to leave, you say, hey, if you in here, little girl or whatever you is, your spirit, spirit, let yourself be known. How about you come for a walk with me? Okay, you come for a walk. You know, you tell it to come for a walk with you. When you leave your apartment, you lock it, okay? You go down, you know, a couple of places, whatever the hell. You go to a very big busing place with a lot of people. And you walk around and you just point at people and hope that it go to them. You look at, I look at somebody and say, hey, that guy said he'll help you over there. Go over there. Don't come back with me. Go over there. Hopefully it'll work. If it don't work, I'm going to be real. You might as well go to a, a, a church or some shit. I don't know. If I had a spirit attached to me, I'd possibly walk in a church. I'll piss it off. Oh, 100%. I'm going to get a whole bunch of crosses. I'm going to go to a church. I'm going to do all types of shit. I'm going to say, let this bitch off of me. That's what I'm going to say. Exactly what i say. I go up to a priest. He'll say, what's your problem, young brother? I said, they got a spirit chasing me, bro. He's going to be like, okay, let's get that shit off of you, young brother. I'm going to say, priest, you can't be cursing like that. I don't give a damn, young brother. Let's get that spirit off of you. And I'm going to say, hurry up, bro. That's what I'm going to say. You better come with a whole bunch of crosses and all types of shit. Man, I'm telling you, I'm getting this shit off of me. Ooh, this Fernando nice. Victor works at a train station. Mm -hmm. What he does there specifically is unknown. Yeah. But regardless of what he does, Fernando always seems to have late night shifts. Mm. However, it was during one of these late night shifts when Fernando captures something terrifying on camera. Fernando and two other workers are walking beside a train that isn't in motion uh -huh. when all of a sudden he captures this without even noticing. Without even noticing, oh, that was a face. What was you? That was a face. Oh, that was a face. It's cool. It's on the train. It ain't bothering me. They can stay up there. Yep. Ugly ass shit. Yep. Stay up in there. I ain't going now. Someone or something appears to be looking down on Fernando as he records. What do you think this might have been? The ghost of someone who was involved in a railroad accident or something else? Well, it ain't my problem. That's all I'm saying. If it followed me home like the last girl, though, we're gonna have a fucking problem. That's all I'm knowing. Ellen Melbergstead is on her way to a doctor's appointment uh -huh. and is taking a shortcut through a park to get there. Bro, 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 this don't look like no damn park. This look like the straight woods. Oh my God, what the hell are you doing? Then you got the nerd of it. Bitch, you better be on Instagram live. Forget making stories. You about to get got. Uh, you know what? People like you piss me off so much. Oh my God. It's like, y'all really want to get gutted. Oh my God. The video takes place in Sweden during the winter time. Oh, sweet. So it's mostly okay. dark during the day. As she's on her way to the hospital, what the fuck is dark during the day in Sweden? I ain't going over there. Ellen takes out her phone and starts recording, but little does she know that she's about to capture something downright creepy. Mm. Check this out. Yeah, I ain't going to Sweden. Boy, chill out. Boy. Oh my god, that would have scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Motherfucker looked like it had three eyes on it. It was only after viewers had pointed this out that Ellen had noticed it. There appears to be some sort of figure peeking at Ellen from behind a tree. Uh huh. It's unclear as to who or what this might have been. Yeah. But viewers think that this could have been a ghost. Nah, yep. nah, that was a vampire. Yeah, that mother was a vampire. I was about to get his, get his, her? Who, who the fuck is this, her? I don't know. This might have been. But viewers think that this could have been a ghost. Yep. Whatever it might have been, Ellen has most likely been taking a different route ever since capturing this. Shit, you lucky. You lucky that shit didn't kill your ass on the spot. <laughs> it couldn't be me. She Ryan Hulse writes, so I was just sitting at home alone, the parents were out, and I kept hearing the weird sounds again. But this time, I decided to record for a change, and this is what I caught. 
Hold on, nigga. This nigga say again, nigga. I didn't know this happened the first time. What the fuck? Really creepy. What the f This is what I mean. Crazy shit. What the fuck? Hello? Bro, don't ever do that shit. What the hell? What is going on? The lights flickering? That's fucking up your light bill, bro. Why is it so damn quiet, bro? Turn on a TV or something. Oh my. What was that? It looked like something was crawling up the wall. No, don't run oh. now. He still didn't turn the light on. Okay. What was you? What was that? Okay, he got a light on. Okay. Phone's we upstairs. What the fuck is you recording oh, on? I, I could I'm leaving the I'm leaving lights on. I swear to fuck, I see Oh. Somebody. Oh, that was stairs? Oh, yeah. You got the Grim Reaper in this hole. Oh, my God. I thought that motherfucker was a wall. Yeah, don't be no bitch. Go up there. Yeah, go up there and go get your phone. Grim Reaper, let yourself be known, you bitch ass nigga. I say that shit with your chest. Oh yeah, you about to die. Oh yeah, he's about to die. Oh, a hundred percent, you about to die. Oh, some breathe on him. Perhaps this might have been a stranger who broke in, intruder or ghost. It's unknown as to who or what was inside Ryan's house. Yeah. Nigga said go get his phone. I would happily live outside for the night. I would have ran outside and I wouldn't have came back. I would have possibly went to the neighbor's house first. And said, uh, I would have woke their ass up. Say, hey, something in my house. I don't know if it's a spirit or a, a person, but I ain't going back. So uh, either I'm going to sleep on your porch or you're going to you know, call the cops and let me stay here. I'm being real. Yeah, yeah this is a hostage situation. That's what I will tell them. Ghost hunter Dedo Mikol is outside, standing a few feet away from an abandoned building he's about to explore. Ooh. When all of a sudden, he sees this. Oh. Well. Who's there? Who's there? What the fucking light turned on saying, come in? That's what it told him. No. Whoa. Trippy. Uh. Oh. Trippy. Oh, yeah, what is that? Trippy. And this motherfucker still go up to the door. You see what I'm talking about, bro? Although spooky enough to scare anyone away, Dead Omi Cole proceeds to go inside the building. He climbs through a window. But before he's able to get inside, he sees this. Boy, hell no. You literally watch the door, you know, open by itself. Before that, you see somebody at the door pressing your ass saying, I wish you would come in here and then they walk away. You proceed to go through a window, look at the door while it's fucking with you. And then when the door opens wide open, you like, oh, that's not possible. But fuck it, I'm coming in. Like, what? type of logic what type of a death wish are you like do you want to die gruesome like what's up with you bro like what's up you you know if you got problems you can let it be known you know you could talk about it but like come on now could this have been the same entity he saw earlier or is it something else man they might have 15 of them holes in there jimmy jimenez is an urban explorer on his facebook page Another he has one. a couple of videos of places he's explored mm-hmm but there's one video in particular that has caught the attention of Pedro A, the person who suggested this video. In it, Jimmy enters the premises of an abandoned home. Everything appears to be normal, 
until later on, when something really creepy happens. Pay very close attention or you'll miss it. Oh god damn. Here we go. Yeah, get up in there. Yeah, yeah, look around. The fuck is that noise? That better be a chicken outside. Maybe it's a dog. What that language was right there. Boy, that shit, boy. Make it. You make a lot of damn noise. Oh, I missed Here's it. Jimmy entering the home once again and seeing a doll on a chair. Oh, yeah, it was sitting up. Now, here's last Jimmy time. leaving the place, but this time, that same doll from earlier is now in a different position. Yeah. Yeah. If no one had moved the doll, then who did? Man, that doll climbed up there himself. He was like, let me see. Let me get a better view of this dumbass nigga walking around my house. That's what he said. A group of paranormal investigators known as Paranormies uh. visit an abandoned farmhouse that is said to be haunted. Ooh. A member of the group sets up a table and performs a type of seance known as table tipping, which okay. is similar to using a Ouija board as it's used to communicate with the dead. Mm, no However, no as they're setting up the camera to record the seance, this happens. Damn, before recording? Set up a camera in that corner there, and I want to set up a camera either in this corner or... Stop, stop, stop. Oh my Dude, what god. What was that? Bang, bang from upstairs. Where should we go, dude? I want to get out of here for a minute, dude. I don't want to go, go back upstairs, over there. upstairs. Grab that light, grab that light. Oh man, my heart's beating. Yeah. You know, I commend them. At least it's more than one, okay? They're not totally crazy, okay? I would have had at least 12 people deep, but that's just me, you know? They they still better than most people, I see. Maybe a Ouija board would have been a better choice. Could have been. Yeah, I want to find some, like, scary channels to react to like like that, but uh, they got a lot of scary channels on YouTube that I hear are, like, pretty fake and shit like that, so it's a sad thing, you know. I really want to react to people that go to, like, abandoned buildings just to see how dumb they are, you know. Well, don't get me wrong. You're not dumb, okay? Don't get me wrong. You know, you're a smart individual. You just make dumb fucking decisions. That's all I'm saying, you know, if you go by yourself. If you like them, I'll give you a little more props, you know, and shit like that, but other than that, yeah. Ricardo Morones is someone who I talked about pre Boy, 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 boy. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Don't ever, don't ever start no video on this shit with these eyes looking at me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Previously, it appears that there's something in his house. Ricardo has no idea as to what it might be. Yeah. But ever since the following incidents that have taken place inside his home, he can't help but think that he might be dealing with something beyond explanation. Mm. One night, before drifting off to sleep, Ricardo captures this. There appears to be a face peeking at Ricardo. Oh shit, that shit was so The face went shit. unnoticed until a viewer of the video had pointed it out. But the creepiest incident has to be the following. Ricardo is recording his TV uh -huh. and he captures something that goes unnoticed. Another head? Oh, that's cute. <clears throat> Outside of Ricardo's window, there appears to be someone looking into his room. I guess. Viewers believe that this might be the same entity that's been haunting Ricardo ever since the first incident. Uh. As with most videos on the paranormal, this one remains a mystery. Motherfucker look like the nigga off a of Fright Night with his eyes. Hell no, bro. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, but you know, it was cool, you know. I like watching people fuck up in life. Yeah, that first girl, she dead, 100%. That shit followed her home. That first girl is dead as shit. Oh my God, I don't know what the hell she gonna do because that spirit is on her. And yeah, you know, yeah.